In less than a minute, two men cut a refrigerant line, stole an AC unit, and then drove away. This happened in the greater Harmony Hills neighborhood on the north side. Since we first aired this story last week, we learned this was way more than just a petty crime. Ken's 5's Alicia Neaves is following this story for us. Alicia? An expert tells us tonight that this crime is in violation of federal law that's regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA. It is illegal to intentionally cut these refrigerant lines because it releases harmful chemicals into the air. It's probably the most brazen that I've seen. That's William Weatherly's reaction to our report last week. He's the chief inspector for the state of Texas for air conditioning and refrigeration. It's a dangerous situation because you're cutting high voltage line. They don't know how to shut the power off. If it's the older refrigerant that we used to have and a lot of homes still have it, R22, it's an ozone depleting chemical. There can be fines up to uh, $27,500 an incident or up to five years in jail. On top of this being a blatant crime and EPA violation, Weatherly says the state legislature is making it tougher to resell the metals and copper inside. That's been a big crime that has blown up in the last few years. If you go to a scrapyard or recycler now, you must have proper identification and documentation for the AC unit. If you present false documents, that's a classic misdemeanor. And they can't access it. We asked the experts how you can protect your AC unit. Elmer Subiate, owner of Elmer's Air Conditioning and Plumbing, says you can start with a lock. If you put a lock here, if you don't put a lock, it's easy. You disconnect this and you can cut the wires and not get shocked. They know that. But if, you, if they can't pull this disconnect, if they don't have access to it, then they're probably not going to want to steal it because it's going to shock them. You can also anchor down the unit to your concrete slab using screws just like these you can find at any home improvement store. We also strap, uh, uh, put screws in for free. A tight fence around the unit isn't recommended. It needs to breathe to cool down. A better alternative is a metal strap or a metal cage just like this. can guarantee they're not going to take it, but we're going to make it a lot harder. Having security cameras, a geo tag on your unit, or motion sensor lights around your home can also help protect your property. And by the way, you could get paid to turn in these people who are intentionally going around and cutting refrigerant lines. That reward is up to $10,000. Learn more now at Kens5.com. Reporting live tonight, Alicia Neaves, Kens5. Some great tips. Thank you, Alicia.